right, so we're starting today in a dead bug. Uh, again, light weights nearby because you'll use them in a moment, but to start warming up, we're gonna just warm up our core and a little bit of mobility. So arms um, over shoulders, legs over hips, knees bent, belly in, ribs down. Start with your, just your right arm and left leg and keep the leg bent and just tap the floor with your hands and your foot and come back up and down. And then switch to the other side. So just moving out of the joints rather than extending the knee joint, we're gonna keep it bent for now anyway. Tap down, come back up, tap down. Pull the belly real deep into the spine so that when you make these movements out of your limbs, nothing else really moves. So think about pulling the rib cage down to the, the hips and the belly to the spine and alternating your arms and legs, just a couple more on each side. So let's go right, then switch to the left, then come back one more time to the right, back to the left, Hold your arms and legs up, straighten your legs, keep your legs so the feet are over the hips, pull the belly down, lift your head and shoulders up, and reach towards your feet, so you're not directly uh, feet over or towards the face. And then come back down, bend the knees, take the right knee into the chest and stretch across the body with a twist. Come back and open the right knee up to the right side. Let's do that again. Take the leg up, up and across, just working a little bit more joint related. Come back to the center, open out to the side. Come all the way to the center and switch legs, left leg comes in. Twist across the body. Inhale, come back, open the leg out to the side. I don't know about your hips in the morning, but mine get really tight. Let's go across the body. And you know, squats are all nice and everything, but we want to just get some more mobility. And then back to the left side. Come back to the center, take your hands on each knee, and make circles out of your hips. Reverse the circles. Come back onto your back, place your feet onto the floor. A moving bridge. Tilt your pelvis, lift your hips up, lift your arms up. Arms go overhead, hips go in the air, keep your knees pointing forward. Exhale, upper mid and lower back down to the floor. Release the arms, release the hips. Inhale, lift the hips, press down, lift the arms up. Exhale, lower the upper body, mid body, lower body, arms down. One more time, we'll stay up overhead. Lift the arms overhead, I should say, and lift the hips up. Reach your arms back, reach your knees forward energetically. Lift your buttocks up, squeeze your tush. Big toe presses down firmly. Reach a little long with the arms, reach a little higher with the hips. And then come on back down, articulate your spine, hug your knees all the way up to your chest. Hold on underneath your thighs. Rock and roll like a ball a couple times and come up to sitting. When you sit, we're just gonna take um, the right leg in and the left leg out. I'm gonna turn a little bit to the diagonal of my mat. So right leg in, left leg out. And then with or without your hands, Bring your legs up and roll to the other side. Yeah, and then up and over and roll. You know, these are things we should be doing a little bit easier than most of us can do, including myself. Just get going. Rock and roll on the side hip. I hope you guys feel okay from yesterday's workout. But you might feel some stress, tension. Let's go one more time and bring it back over to the right side. Bring your right foot in and left foot back a little further. Stretch your right arm to the right side. Lift up and over. Let the forearm come to the floor. And just press your um, arm into the floor and rotate your torso. And then turn your left arm down so your body is facing well, wherever it is, the outside of the right leg. The front of, for me, it's the front of my mat. And then come on back up. Open up the arm. Reach up and down, come back, switch to the other side. Take it down to the left side, forearm down, right arm up. And then turn around, forearms on the floor. Push away with your arms. And then come back up. Open. 
or not. And then let's just turn it, if you're not front, turn it back to the front. Um, yeah, you can grab your heavier set of weights now as well, just to have them nearby. And then come onto your back, so we'll go back to the bridge. Well, actually, we'll go back to the dead bug. Take the light weights into your hand. If you have them. Go back to the same position in dead bug. Arms over shoulders, knees over hips. Pull the ribs down, belly in. Stretch your right arm and left leg. This time, if you can stretch the left leg out, but you know, hover it off the floor. The right arm goes behind the head. And then come back in. Both, both knees are over the hips. Switch sides. Come back in. Switch sides. Come back in. You can keep the leg bent, or you can do the whole thing with a straighter leg. Right arm, left leg. Back to center, left arm, right leg. Back to center, one more time. Back to center, <clears throat> excuse me. Come back to center. Now take both arms and both legs over, well, arms overhead, legs out in front of you, and then bring the arms down. And tap your hands and lift your head and shoulders up towards your ankles. So extend the arms and the legs, head can stay up or not. Come up, tap your hands to your ankles. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. And remember when your legs go out, your arms go overhead, not to arch your back. So you gotta really draw your belly in. And tap, let's do that one more time. Take it out, overhead. And tap. Release your head, release your hands. Sit up for a moment. If you have your ball, grab it and take it behind your back. And if you don't, um, you can just lean back. So it's a small ball. Use your weights or not. Always, always an option. Okay, let me uh, wait and see. I think I shall wait and a ball. Good. All right, so sit up on your ball or back on your ball and lean back, but don't, you know what I call it, pancake the ball. Stretch your arms out in front of you. Good. Bring your arms out to the side. Bring your arms overhead. Bring your arms up to the side, soft bend in the arms. Bring your arms back in towards your knees. So you're not sitting at 12 o'clock, you're about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Bring your arms out to the side. Core active, elbows bend. Take the arms overhead. Open the arms out. Bring the arms in. Inhale, open the arms out, take them overhead. Good, like they can touch. Take them out and bring them around. Open out. So your core is fired up while you're working your upper body movements. Come in. Light weights will still get heavy any moment now. <laughs> As mine are. And bring them in. We'll do that again. Arms up. Bring it in and down. Now lift your torso up and come back down. Keep a slight bend in your arms. Up and down, but no change in your spine. Up and down. For four more. Three. Two. And one. Good. Put the weights down for a moment. Sit up, stretch. Take yourself over your thighs, over your legs. I'm just going to adjust this because we're staying on the floor a little bit. If you're staying on the floor, don't be confused by easy being on the floor. And then let's go back to being on the ball. Uh, ball underneath your back. You can have your arms just crossed over your butt. You can use weights or not. You can use a plate if you have a plate. I know Michelle, you have some plates. Lean back. From here, rotate to the right. Sit up so you're in that rotated position. Come down, back to center to the left. Lift up, so you're lifting up towards the diagonal. Come back, come back to center. Rotate your torso, lift up, come back. So it's like a side crunch, come back to center. Turn to your left, lift up, back down, come back to center. Right side, lift up, come down, center left side, come up, come down. One more time, center right side. Come up, come down, 
center left side, come up, come down. Let's just go to the center for five. Just a small range of motion, four. It's small range of motion, but very strong movement. Three, two, and one more. Come all the way up. Put your weights down to the side. Grab your ball. Let's start on our back. You can have a weight or not. Put your feet down. Let the ball, let's start easy. <laughs> let's start with the ball in between the ankles. If you'd like to have weight on your pelvis, that's fine. All right, but have it nearby because we'll use it with arms. So first stretch your arms up over your head. Tilt your pelvis and lift your hips up again. Again. So as we just did. Now lift a little higher into your hip, into your hips, out of your hips. Feet down, glutes nice and tight. Squeeze the ball between your knees, uh, your feet. Now keep that squeeze and articulate your spine down. Keep your arms up the spine. Relax your hips. Tilt your pelvis, squeeze the ball. Come all the way up, squeeze even harder. And articulate down. Relax. So while these might seem like small incidental, we're just going to keep going. Incidental movements, you know, there's a lot of work here. A lot of muscle action going on here. Tilt the pelvis, come all the way up. We're going to do that one more time all the way down. And then come all the way up again. Stay in the up position. Hips up, squeeze the ball between your legs and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Relax your arms. Take your legs up in the air. Ball where it is. Squeeze the ball. Don't let go of that squeeze. Place your hands and uh, hands behind your head. Lift your head and shoulders up. Good. Bend the knees a little bit or a lot. Send your legs down towards the floor, and then back up. They don't have to touch the floor. Head and shoulders are up, lower the legs, keep them bent for most of us, and back up. Take your time, don't move for your knees. So don't change your knee positions, and keep your knees in one position and move out of the hips. Like we did with the dead bug, but now we're doing two legs together. And the head and shoulders are elevated off the floor. For five, four, belly and ribs down, three, Two, bring one more up to the sky, and stretch your legs up straight. You can keep your hands behind your head and lower your head, or you can bring your arms by your side right underneath the hips, but not, you know, not too much underneath it, just a little support. Make a circle to the right, come back around. Now I want you to circle as big or small as you can maintain your hips and pelvis stability on the floor. That means you shouldn't be rolling over to one side. So we're making a big circle right, squeezing the ball, and then reverse it to the left. So squeeze the ball all the way through, all the way around. One more after this. And then come back to the center. Bend the knees, take the ball out, and put it between your thighs. Go ahead and take your heavy set of weights. So sit up if you need to. Grab your heavy set of weights. Bring them up in the air. Squeeze the ball. For the first set, let's keep the hips on the floor, but tilt the pelvis. So your back is on the floor, your glutes are engaged. Your inner thighs are active with the ball between it. Let's do... Um, Turn the palms towards each other. Keep your back on the floor. So back is on the floor, the hips are up. So here's where if I was in a bridge, a full bridge, here's where my back is. Do you see it, Sam? Okay, now take the hands together, one or two weights, and lower them towards your chest. Close to your chest press, and lift up. So we're in a bridge position, but our hips are not leaving the floor, or our back's not leaving the floor yet, okay? Four. Five, keep squeezing that ball. I want you to feel your glutes. They should be very active. If you want more hamstring, 
walk your feet further away from you. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Arms up overhead, over chest. Now articulate your spine in the air. Take the arms behind your head to the floor and bring them forward. Squeeze the ball back and in. Three and in. Every time you bring the arms back around, think about lifting your hips a little higher. So just don't let the hips sag. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Bring your hands down. Bring your hips down. Bring your weights down. Take your ball. This time we're going to put it underneath the feet. So you're going to notice a change in a lot. Actually, grab your weights with you and take them over your head. Now, just getting the feet on the ball is going to feel challenging. So let's start with our arms down for a second. Look how my arms are like tin soldiers. Press your feet on the ball. The wider your feet can get on the ball, the more balanced you'll be. So if the feet are really close together and you're wobbling a lot, see if just opening the legs a little bit will help. Tilt the pelvis, push down through your feet, and lift your hips up in the air. And notice I'm wobbling a lot. And then come back down. And the hamstrings are going to scream at you and me. All right, lift up, two. Lower down. Three. And if you choose to do anything else, right, you can put the ball back between the knees and just keep lifting up, walk your feet a little bit further forward, or dig your heels into the floor and lift your toes up, or vice versa. Just three more. Two more. One more. And let's leave the last one up in the air. See if you can lift your arms from the floor. And press your chest open, regular chest press for eight, seven. If you fall down, you know, you're close to the ground, articulate down as best you can. Five more. Oh, those hamstrings, four, three, not great for sitting on a plane, sorry guys. Two, one more. Bring the arms in, lower the hips down, put the weights down. Move the ball to the side and stretch your legs up in the uh, air. <laughs> I'll make the noises for you. Right leg stays, left leg lowers. And switch. Good, okay. Roll up. We did these yesterday. We're going to do them with the ball today. Today. So come onto your belly. You don't need waste this moment. Before you get on your belly, if you'd like, put the ball between your feet and turn onto your belly. Open your knees wide. All right, so like I said, we did these yesterday. Today, the addition of the ball is going to change a lot of the action. So squeeze the ball. It's between your feet, your ankles. Okay. Put your forehead down on your hands so that you're not using your upper body to lift your lower body, because it's not really the way it works. Pull the belly in and pull the pelvic floor up. Now, without doing anything else, just see if you can lift your thighs off the floor and lower down. I'm looking at you guys, so, so my head is up. All right, keep going. Two, and down. Three, and down, good. Four, try not to move your upper body. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, hold up on ten, squeeze the ball, and close the ball for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower the hips. You can extend the legs out. And then re-bend the knees one more time. Knees wide, squeeze the ball wherever you have it, push your pubic bone down, lift your, just your thighs off the floor in three, two, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, stay up on one, and squeeze the ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one, let it go. Now, use your hands to push yourself back, sit on your heels to stretch into child's pose. You can keep the ball there, it feels good. Reach all the way out with your arms, and then walk it over to your right side. Walk it over to your left side. Come back to your center, lift up. Move the ball to the side again. Uh, take yourself back to a seated position. I'll turn this way for a second. So take your heavier set of weights. Um, not too, too heavy, probably. If you'd like the ball, again, behind your back, that's fine. If you don't have the ball, don't worry about it. So just keep yourself at that, um, here's 12 o'clock, call it 1 o'clock. Maybe 1.30. All right, take your palms open, lean back, and curl your arms. So we're going to stay in an upright position today. Not fully upright, but we're not crunching it at this moment. All right, palms open. Three, two, curl your arms. Ten, nine, eight. Just notice a little action that you're, you have to stabilize your pelvis. Five, five more. Four. Three, two, one. Just get a little stretch in your back. Lean forward. The ball rolls away. Come back, bring it up. Lean back. Same thing, but palms face each other. Hammer curls. In three, two, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two more, two, one, good. Take one weight if you'd like, two weights if you'd like, in the middle of your body, in either direction if you're on one weight. Lean back, press it from your chest, straight up over your shoulders and back down. So we're still in that one o'clock position. Good, heavy weight, good. Three, two, press up. 10, nine, double in. Three, four, lean back a little bit more. Five, get a little tension in your core. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, take a little stretchy stretch. Go back to two weights, go back to the bicep curls. We'll do one bicep, one hammer, as one rep. Alright? In three, two, go. One, curl, hammer. Two, you're at one o'clock, curl. Three, curl. Four, notice just um, the difference between standing and six, and swinging your arms. Now, not having that opportunity. Seven, because your core has to fire up. Relax your shoulders, Michelle. Eight, good. Nine, one more is ten. Oh, yes. So notice that even though we don't do that much momentum, we don't think we do that much momentum, we have the axis of our entire body moving. All right, take that one heavy weight again. Hold it in any direction, that feels good. Lean against the, uh, the ball, and you're gonna twist to your right side, press to the center, twist to your left side, press to the center, chest, shoulder press. All right, one heavy weight, two weights if you want. Three, two, go. Touch the right, press to the center, one. Touch to the left, two. Right, three, left, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more is ten. 
10, and down. Okay, moving on. So we're doing our work on the floor today mostly, so you're going to notice the difference. Um, I know, Ro, you can't get on your knees. If those of you who can't get on your knees can stand up or, um, or well, we'll kneel or we'll, we'll stand up. So come onto your hands and knees. Take just one heavy weight right now is all you need. So if for anybody else, you can stand up and put your um, hands on the bench. Left leg forward, right hand by your side. Just make sure if you're sitting on your back knee that you're not putting all the weight into it, that it's behind your hip a little bit. Left arm can be on your thigh, resting, but don't put your body weight into it. Take the right arm down by your side and roll back for three, in three, two. That's a good one too, on your other ball. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, good, three, two, keep that bent over position, one, and we'll just do the same thing on the other side. So just switch legs. Right arm resting on your thigh. Again, it's just resting on your thigh for balance. It's not to put your body weight into, so if you pick up your arm and you collapse, it means you're holding your body weight on it. All right, left arm in three, two, one, go. 10, nine, try to dig your right heel to the floor, six, Five, four, three, two, one, back to side A. So first we're gonna do, we're gonna add a kickback arm. If that doesn't work for you, you can do an arm overhead or lay on your back for a skull crusher. All right, so back to the first arm, right arm. Left arm is resting on your thigh or not. Hinge forward, stay in that forward hinge. In three, elbow goes back. Two, one, ten, nine, eight. Keep your wrist straight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two more, and one more. Put it down. Switch sides. Get the right knee far enough forward that the left knee doesn't have to sit on top or underneath your head. Elbow bends, kick back, three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, make sure you know where this is going. Seven, six, five, keep digging your right heel down and back. Three, activating the glutes a little more. Two, and one, put it down. Switching sides. Left leg is forward, combination, row, kick back, and down. Right, one arm, in three, two, go. Row, kick back, one. Row, kick back, two. Row, kick back is three. You got four, five, six, Seven, eight, two more, nine, one more is ten, and switch sides, yes. Right leg forward, arm ready in three, two, go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one is ten, and in, down. Good. All right, come back onto your back, please. Take your heavy weights, take your ball nearby. Let's go ahead and squeeze the ball between the knees as you take the weights to the floor with you. Come onto your back. Option to have your two arms together to your forehead, single arms to your shoulders, or a single, or both arms, I should say single arms, we need one in each hand, uh, to behind your back or behind your shoulders, but no arching of the back, so tilt your pelvis. Um, the other option is a single weight. 
one single heavy weight. Another option is to be in the bridge and hold the bridge or be in a tabletop with your legs off the floor. Pull the belly and ribs down. All right, let's take our tricep skull crushers in three, two, we go. One. So the shoulders don't move, the elbows bend. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Put the arms down. Put the weight, uh, the legs down. Lift your hips back up in the air. Squeeze the ball between your knees. Take your arms up over your head. Keep your hips elevated. Take both arms, touch the floor behind you, and bring the arms over your chest. Let's go. Three, two, one. One. Keep reminding the hips to stay up. We've done this before, or at least we've had the hips up before. Two. Three. Four. Keep squeezing the hips up. Five. Six. Four more. Seven. Eight. Last two. One more. And ten. Lower the hips, lower the arms, take a short break. Go back to the skull crushes. So we'll call this a grounded workout, right? We didn't leave the ground today. Well, our hips might have, our arms might have, but we didn't stand upright. All right, so come back up, squeeze the ball, be in the floor, tabletop, or hips up in the air. Triceps, three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, we're not combining, seven, Six, five, four, three, last two, and one more. Good, arms down, hips up, feet down, hips up. Squeeze the ball. You want it a little bit different, put the ball back underneath your feet like we did earlier. Otherwise, lift your hips in the air. Two arms overhead in three, two, we go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, keep lifting your hips, six, five, four, three, two more, one more, and bring it all down. Take the weights down, hug the knees back to the chest, keep the ball there, it's fine. Open your arms to a T. Shift your hips right. Let your knees come to the left side, but don't touch the floor. Squeeze the ball. If you have the space, and extend your legs. Bend the knees. If not, it's okay. Come back to center. Inhale. Roll to the right side. Extend if you have the space. Bring it back in. Come back to center. Inhale. Over to the left side. Extend. Bend in, come back to center. So you're not touching the floor when you move side to side. Out in, take it over. Keep going side to side for a couple more rounds. Keep squeezing the ball deeper. One more on each side if you haven't done this. Now let's take it over to the left side. Lay the legs on the floor, squeeze the ball, bring your hands behind your head. So your torso is in the center, but your legs are turned to the left. In three, two, lift your head and shoulders. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Head down, legs up, legs right. In three, two, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, and one. Back on your back, squeeze the knees in. Roll yourself back up, come onto your belly one more time. No weight's needed, but just make sure they're not by your feet so you don't hurt yourself. Take your arms out in front of you. Rest your fingers on the wall. So I'm just turning around so the camera can see. Rest your arms all the way out, uh, pinkies on the wall. Legs can be, you got hips width apart, shoulders down, press down into the ball easily, and just lift your chest up. Like a swan dive. And then extend down. And then push down, lift up. Extend out. Push down, lift up. Extend out. Push down, lift up. Extend out. Take your hands on the ball. Let's take the ball into the right hand. Lift your legs up if you can. Take the ball behind you and take your both arms behind you. Then switch arms. Left arm comes forward. And then switch to the back again. Switching to the opposite hand. Reach out. Take it back. Uh-oh. Reach out. Yeah. Back. Come back out to the center. Lower your head. Lower your hips. Relax for a second. Then we're going to go in the opposite direction, so start with your left leg, left arm, I should, should say. Push your pubic bone down, lift your chest up, take the ball to your left hand, reach it behind you and switch arms. Come in, left arm grabs, right arm grabs. Reach out, legs up, three, two, one, and lower down. Push back to child's pose. Put the arms out in front of you now on the ball. Reach out, back out. Come into a rounded spine here. Come all the way up onto your hands and knees for a moment. And then once again, I'm going to turn this way, but take your right leg in and left leg behind you, mermaid style. Take the ball on the right side, kind of like we warmed up. Now we're just pulling down. Take the ball under the right arm, lift up and over to the right side. Keep lifting the right side of your body up. Inhale, come up. And then let's do it one more time and press up and over. Release. Come back up. Take the ball into the left hand. With or without your leg, your arms, switch sides. That's the tricky part. Left arm out, lift up and over. Come back up. Lift up and over and turn over. Roll out, come back up. You can bring your legs straight up to the center. <laughs> Cross them, come over to your hands and knees, and then stretch your legs back. Plank, look, we didn't even do a plank before this. And lift your hips in the air, down the face and bow. Bend one knee, then the other. And then bend your knees and walk your hands and feet together. You can take your ball with you if you want. It's intense to roll away and roll up through your spine. Stretch the arms up over your head. Inhale. Lean right, exhale. Come center, inhale. Lean left, exhale. Come center, inhale. Lift your heart up. Exhale, bow yourselves. And roll up. Take your arms up and give yourself a big can. Round of applause. Stay strong, stay fit, stay healthy. Bye.